There have been many themes released in LEGO, some licensed and some not, but some themes are less talked about and aren't as loved as I think they should be. So in this video, I'm going over the top 5 most underrated LEGO themes. Number 5 is Dino Attack, which came out in 2005 and had about 5 sets. Now we have seen many dinosaur LEGO themes and we have Jurassic World now, but this dinosaur theme seemed the most dark and is one of the coolest. This theme did have a less dark variation called Dino 2010, where all of the guns in the sets were replaced with nets, but I definitely like this version with the guns better. It just fits better with the design. This theme was set in some sort of apocalyptic future where all these mutant dinosaurs were around and they were hunting them, or just capturing them in the Dino 2010 version. The designs for all of the vehicles were really solid, especially that really good helicopter build that might be one of the best LEGO helicopters I have seen. The minifigures were pretty good too, even though there are not many different prints for the torsos and they are used many times throughout the theme, I really like the designs of the prints. The dinosaurs in this theme are very different to what we see in different themes, and they seem very non-Lego-like, but they are not terrible, they are just not my favorite part of the theme. I don't really see anybody talk about this theme and I don't know too much about it, but the sets are really cool, but they're not that cheap to get nowadays. Number 4 is Paradise which came out between 1992 and 1997 and had 18 sets. This is technically a sub-theme of town, but that doesn't change the fact that it is a good theme on its own and doesn't get enough love. I know this is a theme that Just Too Good likes a lot, and I can see why. I just love the vibe of this theme, the beachy areas and the pink color, which I like for this theme, and it also had some cool multicolored base plates, which we don't see anymore. It would be cool to see this theme return in some way. The closest thing we have gotten since this was a minifigure in Series 17 that reminded me of this theme a lot. But I don't really see this theme returning anytime soon, but I just think this is an older theme that not many talk about too much. Number three is is Prince of Persia, and this theme came out in 2010 with only 6 sets. This is a licensed theme that I know almost nothing about. All I know is that this is a theme based on a movie that's based off of a video game, but I know nothing about the movie or the video game. But that doesn't matter to me because the sets are really good. All of the sets are really detailed and designed well. I know the movie wasn't that well received and is pretty forgettable now, but the Battle of Alamut set is such a good set for a theme based on something pretty forgettable. I like every set in this theme, even the polybag is really good, but it is weird for me to like something I know so little about. And this theme isn't any higher because I know so little about it. And even though I think these are good sets, they are kind of forgettable compared to other themes, and I don't really think this theme should come back. Number 2 is Galaxy Squad, which came out in 2013 with 12 sets. This is one of the less talked about space themes, and we haven't seen a space theme like this since this came out. In this theme, there are four Four different teams versus alien insects. Each team has a robot sidekick and those were great figures. The insects were also really good figures, but the regular team members are simple but decent. There were a lot of good builds and designs for both sides. There were a lot of cool play features and transformation features for the vehicles. This is one of my favorite space themes that has some really good sets and doesn't get enough attention. And number one is World Racers, which came out in 2010 with eight sets, and this is one of my favorite race themes. There were two teams, Team Extreme and the Backyard Blasters, and they had two different styles for their vehicles. Team Extreme had a white and green color scheme with more fancier builds, and the Backyard Blasters had a red and black color scheme with a more rough build style. I like the idea for this theme, and I actually own every set from this theme. Now I like the look of most of the vehicles, but I will admit most of the play features don't work that well and are kind of bad, but there are some solid sets. The biggest set, Desert of Destruction is great. The main truck vehicle is really good, and even the smaller vehicles in this set are some of the best in the whole theme. I don't think any of the sets are bad. Maybe Snake Canyon because the sidecar on Team Extreme's motorcycle is not built well, but it's just an okay set. Even though this theme has a lot of flaws, I think it is still a really underrated theme that I like a lot. So anyway, those are my top 5 underrated LEGO themes. There might be more themes that are underrated, but these are just my choices. I don't necessarily think all of these themes should come back, they are just not talked about a lot. So see you next time, goodbye.